Welcome back. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to do uh, some two-point perspectives. So start with the horizon line and your two vanishing points. Remember to label them up VP1 and VP2. And what we're doing is very similar in a way to the last piece of work, except this time we're going to be using two vanishing points rather than one. So whereas last time you did six parallel lines, this time we're taking six lines from the vanishing point, from VP1. Remember to do the lines nice and light. The next thing is to divide these six lines into four sections. Remember, the sections that are furthest away will be smaller because the illusion is that as things get further away, they get smaller. And then you should have your grid, your sections, where you can then add your numbers the same way as we did on the last piece of work. Again, I'm freehanding in my um, numbers here, but if you want to be a little bit more precise, you can use the ruler for this. Remember to use the full area for each num number. When you are doing the vertical lines, try to keep them at 90 degrees wherever possible. You can see how mine vertical lines go straight up. They're not sloping. The only slopes that are occurring on my numbers are on the inside of the two and on the top of the one. If you have a fine liner or a ballpoint pen, uh, you can go over the numbers. Again, I've chosen to freehand rather than use a ruler because sometimes the ink gets trapped under the ruler and it can smudge, but uh, it's up to you. So at this stage, what you've got is essentially a one point perspective drawing. Uh, and what we're gonna do now is add in the three dimensional element by using the second vanishing point. So first thing you wanna do is draw another line from VP1 and have that running above your lettering. And then again, from all the points of detail now, you aim your ruler at vanishing point two and draw the lines. You can see I'm just drawing the line up to that first line I drew, and this adds sort of like the, the indicates the depth of the lettering that you are doing. If you wish to have it going off into infinity, uh, to VP, all the way to VP2, uh, that's pr personal preference. Complete this now by adding the fine line to the depth of the drawing. So then it is ready to add the rendering. Before you add the Colour in pe coloured pencil though, not a bad idea to just make sure you've done all the fine lining and also put add one last check to make sure you've got all the lines up to the VP2. But then get a rubber and get rid of all the pencil lines, all the guidelines. Again, I'm putting my light source to the top right hand corner and using colouring crowns to add the three tones light, medium, and dark. Going for dark on the front face light on the top and then medium on the inside. Mm -hmm. 
add the rendering to complete the aesthetic of it and the enhance the 3D appearance. And there you have it, 2021. Happy New Year.